Attack on Mika! Right now, I am heading towards my parents' house in the car that my husband drives. It was my first time to go back home after I got married half a year ago. Although, I thought I was very familiar with this view. It looked a little different from what I remembered. It took more time than I imagined. <laughs> yeah. My husband Morau is the son of a CEO of the company I worked at, and he took over the company recently. Everyone around me says that I was lucky to marry into a wealthy family. After getting married, especially after my husband took over the company and became the president, my life changed drastically. I was currently living my life trying my best to catch up with all these changes. Yep, we're here. Yuka, it's been a while! Morrow! It must have been a long ride here. Thank you for coming. That's enough talking for now. Come on, it's hot out here. Let's go in. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'll carry our luggage. What? Oh, you're so sweet, Morrow. So different from my husband. That's not true. Yuka, you got married to a very wonderful man, didn't you? <laughs> she did. When I went into the house, I smelled a very nostalgic scent. I truly felt like I came back to my home. Aren't long sleeves hot? You're in your own home! Why don't you wear something more rough and comfortable? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Your room is left as it is. Maybe you have some room clothes there? I'm really not hot right now. I'm fine. Really? You two didn't get lunch yet, right? What would you like to eat? We'd eat anything you serve. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay then, maybe I'll go cook up something delicious for ya. By the way, Yuka, how's your life like being married? Uh, um, I'm not that great at house chores yet, but I'm doing okay when I be careful. You didn't have to do anything when you were living here, so it must be hard getting used to now, huh? Yeah. You also don't have to do anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> that night, some of our relatives who lived in the neighborhood also came to my parents' house and we had all had a merry get-together dinner. After meeting and spending time with my childhood friends and cousins, I felt like I was back in my childhood. Oh, Yuka? You haven't had anything to eat! That's not true. Really? Make sure you eat too, okay? E yeah Are you drinking too, sir? Your glass is empty. <gasps> Yuka, it's really been a while, huh? Gosh, Mika, you're drinking too much. I'm so lonely now that you're gone. Remember how we used to trade books and clothes and talk about things together all the time? Y yeah now you're acting like the wife of a rich man! What kind of lingerie do you wear now? Why don't you try taking them off and trading with mine? Mika! What are you saying all of a sudden? Gosh! It's mine! We're all family here, right? Gosh, Mika! You reek of alcohol! Or... Is there a reason why you can't take off your clothes? Huh? Uh, of course not. You do have one, right? Come on, Miss Mika. There isn't any reason like that. Mika, how did you know? Gosh, stop! <gasps> no way, Yuka! Those bruises. What happened? There's no way you didn't know that your wife's body was like this, right? Uh, no way. I didn't know at all. Are you okay? What happened to those bruises? <gasps> Yuka? You don't need to keep up that bad act of yours anymore! What act? I went to your house to meet Yuka the other month when I went nearly by for work. But Yuka looked terrified and tried to send me back! Yuka back then didn't seem sane at all, and so it was bothering me. When I told the neighbors that I was Yuka's sister, they told me about you guys. That your mother, that Yuka's mother-in-law always screams at her, and that she treats her like a slave. The neighbors saw that often. She has all these bruises on her body. There's no way you didn't know. And she only has bruises in the areas that could be hidden with clothes. Even though Yuka might not be perfect, that's no reason for her to go through all this. Yuka, who did all this to you? 
<laughs> Yuka, say it right now! Morel's mother and Morel himself. Uh, you said all the unnecessary things. Is this true? <sighs> she just can't do anything right. That's why we're educating her. She wouldn't understand unless we do this much. Educating? You say? That's right. Education is necessary for people who can't do anything, right? She's a girl from an inferior family compared to ours, and we're too good for her anyway. But I married her. I'm really having a hard time. Inferior? I married her because she seemed quiet and easy to handle. What? On top of educating her, I'm also letting her live a luxurious lifestyle. I don't see why I have to be accused like this. If anything, I think you all should be thankful. You beat her up this much? Educate? Bullshit! And I thought she was living happily. We will sue you and your family! Go on ahead. But I'm sure you won't have enough evidence. You only have the testimony of the neighbors, right? If my family uses their power, it won't even go to court. No use suing us, really. This man's affection was twisted. Until now, I tried to believe that he was actually a kind person and that he really loved me. But after seeing him not only make fun of me, but to look down on my family and laugh, I felt disgusted by him for the first time. Yuka, I'm sorry. I said something terrible again. But all you have to do is listen to everything that I say. You understand, right? It hurts me to do this to you too, you know? There's no way I will let her go home like this! How dare you! But you don't even have enough evidence! Oh! You thought that all I did was ask the neighbors about what happened? Of course not, stupid! I got all the evidence I need! I went to the detective agency and asked them to get proof of all you've done to Yuka up until now! Of course, it's up to Yuka, but I already went to a lawyer for help. What did you say? And... I'm the hired guy on inspection. There's enough evidence on Yuka's body that shows what you've done to her. I confirmed that just now. The police will move for sure if we have all this evidence, you know. Please, don't tell the police! Yuka, I won't ever do it again! So please forgive me! Your apology means nothing to me now. You always say sorry to me saying you'll never do it again. We've been repeating this again and again. But... this time... I can't trust your words. I can only see you doing the same thing again. No! I finally realized. After that day, my husband and I started living separately in preparation for divorce. After being told my mother-in-law and husband that I was inferior and stupid, I started really believing that I was. Through my marriage life, I started denying myself thinking that it was all my fault for making them upset. I thought that I should endure it and be more careful. I spent my days fearing the two and sucking up to them. As I continued that, I started thinking negatively. I was mind controlled by the two. A few months later, I officially commissioned a lawyer and succeeded in getting a divorce with my husband. Apparently, the harsh words and violence that the two did towards me was already a spreading rumor, and the company that my ex-husband owned went bankrupt after losing all their clients' trust. Although little by little, I was able to heal from my scars and went back to my old lifestyle. I do sometimes go into self-denial, but that's when my sister and parents, as well as my childhood friend Hajime, help me with their support. I'm off duty today, so I can spend a day out with you. Really? But spending time with you is enough. To make me happy, you know? Huh? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.